Hello everyone, uh, Namaste. My name is Surya Dikari. I'm from Nepal and I'm a geometrics engineer. And today I'm going to show you about uh, how I made a cross section geological map. Okay, uh, let's make me a small one. And here uh, in this video, uh, almost uh, there is a 13,800 views. Uh, thank you for uh, your interest and many of you have asked uh, how I created the geological section and um, look at there as many of you have commented and wanted a geological cross section how I created that so today I'm going to show you how I created that uh, it's not so hard it is very easy I have used some tricks and tools uh, that is used in GIS okay let's get into the video okay uh, you can see my GIS and GIS screen and this is the exactly this uh, map I have uh, uploaded in that uh, cover cover image something like that so this is the real one I have not uploaded a fake one so you can see uh, this is the upward section uh, which is the uh, map sections or you can say a uh, data frame section and the lower one is a uh, chart section okay and this is it look here uh, i have aligned this uh, this line and this line okay this line you can see uh, you can use a grid line here look here okay uh, let's use a grid line look this is the grid line and I have aligned this with the grid line okay and if your uh, tunnel alignment or, or alignment line doesn't align it with with uh, or doesn't uh, goes this way a slope way then uh, uh, you can go to data frame properties and in a general section you can rotate your image whole image and according to your design uh, plan or according to your uh, section plan here uh, i have rotated uh, zero degree means it's naturally north is upward look here north is upward so uh, here my section goes from east to uh, sorry uh, west to east side or east to west side eh? so here it, it feels easy for me to align uh, my section according to the uh, this geological map so first of all we should have to create a map this type of graph and for this uh, I have done look here uh, uh, this is the data okay and here you can see the data all the data and the uh, brown one is a contour data and I, I have uh, get that from uh, uh, USGS or SRTM DIM. Uh, all of you can download that easily. And another one is uh, this alignment. Alignment is a project alignment. Uh, it is already fixed. And the nearby uh, detail about uh, uh, this blue line represents a river. Look at here. Yeah, this is the river line. And there is not much detail and this part of the information about the rock types is provided by a geologist uh, sir uh, through which I, uh, I have just mapped the, uh, this in a GIS. Uh, sorry for my English, I'm not so better at English. I uh, hope you are understanding my English. Uh, okay, this is only the chart. And now uh let's check uh, here is a dam okay yeah you can see this thing and the easiest way to create a chart is to use where is analysis zero okay let's go to mm, right click and you can see special analysis tool uh not this one 3d analyst what is this this is the 3d analyst and 
we can use a interpolate line to interpolate the surface located and this is the point and look I'm creating a cross section for the data and I have ended here and here I have selected a dim uh, which is the SITM dim nothing so hard so here I'm going to use a profile graph look right there and this is the graph look yeah this is the graph this is the same graph you are seeing in this section okay in this section so i'm going to rearrange it again what was my Okay, this is it. So I created this graph. Look at here. And to add this graph in the uh, layout section, you can use. Uh, you can just right click here, here right click, and you can see add layout option. Okay, and let's make it a small one. And here you can see a add uh, chart here. Where did that come? Mm, okay, this is the layout, and I'm going to align this. No, it's not happening. I'm directly talking. Let's create this uh, big one, okay? Uh, like this, okay? Like this, and add layout, okay? So, here is that layout, and let's make it big. Okay, I'll look at here, and I'll stretch it. Look, so it's not in the line here, so let's adjust this. So let's make it a little bit small. And let's add this. You have to maintain the size. And I hope this works. Okay. Uh, not working. Not working. Not working. So I have to move it. I have to move it. One more is more tight. Layout. What is happening here? Let's make it okay and uh, export. In this way, you can align this. Okay, I have aligned this uh, according to the requirement. Look at here, and this also goes here. So let's make it a little bit big. Okay. This is it. A little bit small. Wait. Uh, I think that's okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this one. Uh, more. Okay. Last. Okay. Here you can see 
and this is uh, one end of the tunnel and this is the another end of the tunnel both lies aligned with the uh, map so now we can do an analysis here do you got that so first of all uh, we have to draw a section look here and there are a section here one section two three uh, four sections so for that we can draw it using uh, our grid line here okay using these grid lines we'll get here okay and you can draw this in the map where that forms so uh so this part is it's done right you can overlay now using a uh, copy graphics and now uh, another thing is i have used uh an uh, uh different color or different symbol uh, on the different parts of this chart so for this what i've done is i have used this tool uh this drawing toolbar here if uh, if in your uh, ideas there is absent then you can just go here and right click and go to draw yeah if you go to draw uh, draw right and here you can see and choose a polygon line and look at here i'll i'll draw here let's let's make it just below it okay uh, it will not come in the layout section but it works look this is the layout and i have used what i have used is uh, use this uh, polygon tool and draw it here okay you can see uh, this is okay clear right and i'm drawing it here right now you can clear right and i'm drawing it i'm just drawing it uh, roughly here so if i want to have a different sy uh, symbol here uh, let's say a symbol up to here a uh, different different symbol then okay i can go like this okay and here on the goes to go to properties tab and change symbol okay and here i have already created a symbol so uh, a geological symbol is absent in the gis so you have to make it manually so i i have made a quarter symbol fillet symbol and let's say this part is uh, does have a fillet uh, rock then okay and in this way i can do a, a symbol change or in a chart so if i want to uh, change the orientation or degree of the symbol then just go here and edit symbol and here you can see the angle so i can change its angle look at there so let's just say 100 degree so it will now align 100 degree okay in this way uh, uh, i can add and go to this uh, clear okay uh, i can again draw the uh, element to the chart and let's hope this is the another one then i can use the property tools and change symbol and i can again change the another symbol look at here you record it okay it's the same symbol uh, a meta meta sandstone symbol okay yeah you can see it here so for drawing a uh, and this i have drawn you can you can see here and if uh, you want to draw a tunnel alignment then just go to this and change line and draw it from here okay and the take the height from the references or tunnel alignment if the tunnel starts from here and then go and in that here okay Let's go here and in that here then just create it and right click and change the symbol and i created the it's red symbol as a red 
okay okay now let's see so you can do that so if you want to add a text here just go and add a text okay look here you can add text anything you like this is very simple and in this way i have i've created them created this i hope you understand that and for creating a symbol this symbol is also created by manually and you can go to uh, rectangle tab and select okay if you select that and choose a symbol okay uh, yes yeah you can choose a symbol and and do a name it it's that simple okay so if you have any other more queries uh, on this video or throughout any of the video uploaded in my channel uh, you can freely ask me or you can uh, go to my facebook page and message me okay i'm always ready to help you i hope uh, this solves your uh, problem to create a geological cross-section map thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share it. Bye-bye.